All right, all right. Welcome back to Granddad's old farm. And uh, so last episode we uh, was working on the grass. So um, kind of off um, off camera here, I uh, I went ahead and uh, kind of finished up the grass here in this little bit. Um, so what grass we do have in a trailer, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that right quick. Uh, pretty much, you know, we're on a sell basis right now. You know selling everything that we can get um so my goal is um hoping that um uh, there's a piece of equipment that's going to help us uh to harvest some wood chips um that's in the uh dealership so i'm going to sell this grass um then we're going to look into that um and uh see if pull that pickup up um see about getting um maybe another trailer but like just something small doesn't have to be like humongous or anything but uh we'll try to try to make granddad proud of us, so we'll try we can just trying to make uh, what we can so we can start uh, getting rid of some stuff on the on the farmyard and start replacing some things. Start making it look nice um, is the end goal, of course. Um, kind of get it up and running again. Um, now the county is um, the stuff on the farm uh like the house is you know it, it'll have to be um dealt with um which is going to cost us money to do so um because most of that stuff was uh it's on the property uh uh but it was sold to uh you know county for materials um so to get rid of all that that's each item's going to cost a little bit so we got to be mindful about that and get to see if we can work that out um all right so what i'm wanting to do is let me see if i can find it so any forestry equipment should be in here okay so the devourer of trees Twenty-five thousand. Um, still kind of puts us. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's oh, it's one hundred and twenty-five thousand because I made it. Does that change that? Uh, okay, so. Yeah, well, we're going to wait on that <laughs> a little bit further. Um, now, there is a gold production here. Um, here in Western Wilds. So, maybe eventually uh, if we can get that up and running. Uh, woo, we can make some we can make some money uh, some I'm talking about some serious cash then <laughs> uh, so okay so that kind of messed my plans up a little bit because I wanted to but I need to buy all right so let me this area here I want to see if I can get it subsoiled or plowed or how you want to call it but um i know most of the time you use a subsoiler it doesn't really certain ones uh will do it um have a create field um option but something tells me i don't think this one's got that i don't think so no i do not think so so my thought is maybe I could sell this 
I don't have enough money to get the proper plow that I need. That I know it will work. Because I don't think this is, has that at all. And this is not going to do anything because there's really kind of no field here. Well, at least it shouldn't. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. It's going to do nothing. Boy, I thought. Okay, so. I guess we don't have too much of a choice. Go ahead and sell this. And maybe we'll have enough to get the proper one that I need. Actually, I'm going to bring it up to the shop, uh, to the dealership, because I'll probably get more money uh, back off of it if I do it that way. I'm going to sell him a, a, a dirty implement. <laughs> There you go, you can even have the mud on it too. Now the um, same author that did um, No Man's Land uh, does did this map. This is uh, done by Alien Jim as well. Um, really cool map to you know do a build on if that's your flavor if that's what you want to do um, really good for that good for forestry all that, all that good stuff camera turn around here Alright, so we want to get rid of this thing. I'm going to sell it. Uh... Alright, so let's go. Where is our plows? Right here. It should be all the way at the end. That's 85,000. Straight up as is. I'm going to take a another hit but uh, I think it's a wise choice because we can definitely really crank out some fields with this um, so it's definitely going to be beneficial in the long run fields is right on it like I knew it would be I'd have to say my opinion towards uh, I think this is what at uh, 4720 or something like that um, this mod this modded um, plow I'd have to say and just my opinion on it I think it's the best one um, in the whole game I mean, yeah, it's John Deere, but that's kind of beside the point. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a small little field. Oh, for right now, it is anyway. Uh, okay, so, wow, great field. Drop it right there. So I'm trying to teach myself how to use um, vehicle guidance mod. I think that's what it is. Uh, or control or whatever. Um, and then, of course, I'm still learning uh, um, ins and outs of course play as well. Just trying trying new things that I didn't try before early early on in FS22 so if 
but I figured I'd cut the grass this way and then I could just make a field out of it, you know. So I thought that was a cool way to do it. Because it kind of gives you a little extra, um, I guess, an extra duty to uh, take care of. And it kind of makes sense anyway. Oh, also, I'm hard. Uh, I'm hard at trying to uh, hard work, trying to uh, learn uh, GE. Now it's not uh, Giants Editor, but it's for 19, um, 22. Like something wrong with it, where I can't. It just does. It clashes with my computer. It just doesn't seem to uh, work correctly. So, uh, so I still like playing 19. So I figured, you know, if I'm going to learn the editor, well, you know, let's learn over there. I figured it might be a... At least I'd, I would be able to do that anyway. And by the time I can get that down, then I'll be ready to do, you know, the other... I'll have this build freaking done here in just a second. It don't take long when they're small, huh? <laughs> Not at all. kind of looks like on day two we're going to have to cut some more grass apparently I'll have to uh, look at our overview on the map and see uh, where I can go next with that uh, I mean, I know we own some of the land, but we don't own it all, so it's going to be kind of hard. But, that, you know, I like, the, I like the grind, I like the challenge. Um, and I hope, uh, I hope y'all are enjoying the, uh, the series so far. Like I said, this is only episode two, so I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. We'll just kind of play it by ear and see how many we can get. Uh, to we we can get this farm up and going. Getting it up and going is the hard part. Keeping it running, well, that's the easy part I guess. But keeping it running is hard too. So definitely uh, got a challenge ahead of us. All right, so. Let him finish folding up. Let's look at our uh, pull up our PDA here on our device. And uh, okay, so this is the, this is what we own. Um, so I can go on this side of the farm. We just cut that, and then we could probably cut another small one over here to match this area. You know, like another field, and then we can lay some more over this way. Which is going to be a lot of grass that we can cut and sell off. Alright, so let's drop this bad boy right there. And we will uh, drive over by the mower here and get to cutting again.
That's the only thing I can think of doing right this moment. Um, if y'all think I should have done something else, um, leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. I don't want to kind of get lined up with the other field somewhat, you know, make it uh, kind of uniform, I reckon. I don't know if that's even the right term for it, but all right, well, you down, you should go down too, there you go, it should turn on, is the front turned on too, it should then, yeah, it is, okay. have a tree to worry about here who says it who says the field's got to be perfectly square ain't nothing written in the handbook for that this field here is going to be a little bit bigger just a little bit. Of course, we got that wind rower over there. That's definitely going to help us. So, I mean, we're starting to gain a little bit of equipment. Um, We can get some jobs done. Some work done, I should say, anyway. Too bad that this mower didn't have like a hookup for that windrower. You could windrow this as you cut it. <laughs> that would be awesome. But, uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. So I'm curious, is there one YouTuber that y'all like to watch? <clears throat> Inquiring minds want to know. In other words, I would like to know. So if you don't mind, leave a comment and let me know. That would be amazing. I think I'm always interested in what other people think anyway. <clears throat> Uncertain subjects. I mean, not nothing negative, of course. I wish I could hire a helper, but I can't right now, because uh, it has to be an existing field. So that will not work. 
Well, you know dang well I'm going to try it, but I know it's not going to work, so. Let's see, no, I didn't think so. We'll have this new fuel cut here in just a second. Don't take long. I think I like this mower really kind of better than, than most of them. This in here always seem to work really well. I'm all for that. What works good? <laughs> I don't want no rust bucket over here that don't work. I like the fact you just turn it on one time. You don't have to select, uh, you know, like the two side blades. Once you just turn the front one on or whatever, it just uh, starts them all at the same time. I like that. Makes it a little easier. Damn, I was hoping I, man, that freaking is so bothering me now. I wish I could have, um, had gotten that, um, wood chipper. Oh, man, that would be so freaking sweet right now. Because I think wood chips are up the last time when I looked at that earlier. Um, price of that shit went up. I think, uh, I think grass went up too, though. Might have glanced at that. Let's do that again. Doing a dosey -si do. Keep on going. Keep on trucking. Farm sim hero.
Hmm. Almost down here. All right, so we're going to get this wind row or get this wind road. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe just taking a loan out. Um, so we'll go up there, um, go to the ATM, and um, we'll uh, see about um, maybe doing that. Um, that way we can uh, kind of go from there and see what we can um, get done. Because we do need to probably do that anyway. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So. It's a little slow going, and I know that we're uh, we're cutting grass again, but uh, I really don't know. You know what we might do? Um, I might race up there and we take that loan out right quick, and uh, we will kind of look at um, see what look at the map again and see what we own. Um, maybe we start cutting. Uh, start doing some wood chips uh, we can come back and do this grass and that's like not really a big deal it's kind of all part of it honestly <clears throat> all right we'll stop right there it's a good spot and uh, we'll fold that up I think it gets done folding up all the way all right so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll ride the tractor uh, up to the shop and We'll see about taking uh, taking some money out. See about getting getting a loan there to uh, facilitate the things that we actually kind of need right now, so we can make more money <laughs> than what we're making right now. We're kind of really not going in a forward motion. <laughs> Keep going backwards. <laughs> so this might actually help us. I just, we're, you know, lacking the funds right now to go ahead and get a, uh, <clears throat> the equipment that we need. How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm doing quite well. How are you? I'm just taking a break. All right, well, you have a good day. Uh, let's see here. So, we're going to borrow quite a bit, I think. Um, 
I don't remember what my my limit I could <laughs> take out honestly so I guess that's as far as we're going all right cool 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 I think that might uh, help us out there a little bit hey sir did you uh are you ultra yes sir that, that that's that's me oh I have a piece of paper here contract for you to sign well, what's this about oh this is uh, for the surrounding area uh, I think your granddad had uh, made up a contract about all the surrounding land so uh, um, it folds to you so I just need a signature oh okay well that's cool that works so uh, yeah here you go all right thank you uh, you have a good day thank you very very much for your time all right sir you have a good day too thank you very much all right so I guess that means that um, we have more land um, I, I, I didn't, didn't know that was happening so uh, we got more we pretty much own um, I guess the surrounding area around the farm so uh, I guess that's a good thing um, oh yeah well I mean I, I got so excited about that I forgot what I was doing <laughs> oops oh my god I can't believe that that's awesome that is so freaking awesome so we'll be able to ex you know eventually expand that's that's what's up. Alright, so let's um, look for the things that we need here. Um, so, we're going to go back down to uh, Forester Equipment. And let's see if we can get our thingamajigger that we want. Our devourer of trees. Um, out of the box, it's only 25 grand. But we know from a mistake from earlier, that's going to be a little more than that. So, I'm wondering, do I even go no capacity? Uh, we'll go with... That way it does have some sort of capacity to it. Um, I think I'll leave it black. Alright. So, now we need... Um, actually, we need a trailer that... We can uh, do... Uh, wood chips with I think most of these here that we can probably utilize it doesn't have to be a big trailer I don't think um, so this will take you can put wood chips in here and a bunch of other stuff as well as I'm seeing damn alright so let's see 13.1 tons mm. uh, 12.6 to 22.5 meters. Uh, yeah. mm. Let's see what else we got. Probably, you know, of course it's going to cost us more, but. Well, I was going to, I think I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to go with this cloth right here. Probably gonna cost us a little more because, um, well, it's 20 grand right now, but put that extension on there. Um, hopefully, the pipe will lead to that. Um, Michelin wheel setup, wide tires. Oh, we can do a chassis color. Ooh, that's just no. We'll go back the way it was. <laughs> this is too much. So that bad, it was 21,000. So we still have uh, $175,000 left. So we should be good, I'm thinking. I've had used this thing in the past, but it's been a long time since I've messed with it. Um, but it's a good way to do wood chips. I mean, 
It's one way of doing it. Let's put it that way. So, let's see. Um, move the pipe. So that way, when I turn it on, it'll blow back into the trailer. And uh, we can, uh, once it gets full, we take it where it needs to go. And kind of back and forth like that. Keep it going. So I'm excited about this. Well, we're definitely going to be trying to do this. I think this is going. I think the wood chips. Um, I'll have to look at the pricing on it, but I think it's. While we're talking about it, let's go ahead and look at it. Um, I always do that. It seems like I'm. I pressed the wrong button. Not thinking. Okay, wood chips. Let's see here. Oh, Sawmill South is paying one thousand three hundred and seventy-two dollars a liter. Holy Schnikes. Okay, so uh, I think we made the right decision. Maybe things are coming to get together. Oh, all right, all right. That is uh, very good news. Very, 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 very good news. We'll be able to eventually start uh, working on this uh, farmyard here soon. If uh, this pays off. Which seems like it will be. Alright, so kind of turn around here and turn that on um, should be able to lower it Let's turn it off for a minute okay lower it down turn it back on all right here we go let's see how this is gonna work should work pretty good I would assume Ha! Hell yeah, dude. That's just like almost half a trailer off one tree. I mean, for real. <laughs> and you can just raise it up a little bit and get rid of the stump. Thing works really good. I like it. Um, am I reading that right? That's only twenty-seven percent in that trailer. That that's that that, that don't seem right. <laughs> it does not seem right. That's gone. Right, that might be actually the capacity that's in the uh, devour. Let's see, right now it's not spraying anymore. So, okay, so let's um, get rid of the stump first. Nice and clean. Turn that off. We will take our first uh, load of wood chips. That was um, a lot faster than I assumed it was going to be. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was what? Maybe three, four trees? Something like that. Uh, 
this might just be a major lucrative thing for us. We might have just made the best decision we could have. I'm hoping. I guess I, I guess wood products is in high demand right now. I mean, it must be. I must have a major shortage or something. I don't know. up this way anyway so I'm going past the shop here so we're on the trailer should be this pit right here should be wood chips I believe um, maybe not The wood chip trigger. I would assume that's what that would be, unless that's like maybe pater or something, some kind of soil. I know it's one of these drop off points. I darn it. This one up here, I would think, would be wood. Um, so I can't really, can't really see dropping it there, honestly. I mean, it's self-explanatory that there's logs all over the place from it. Hmm. All right. Well, let's double check and make sure that's where I'm at. Um, apparently I'm not in the right spot. Apparently not. Okay, wait a minute. Just making sure I had, had that the right thing tagged. So I thought it was that one. Apparently, is uh, I was mistaken. You know, new to the area and, and everything, trying to learn where everything is. It's like it might be. I think it's out this way, to be honest. I know the BGA is uh, down the end of the road over here, so um, I'm really sure. Okay, so it's uh, not where I thought it was. It's actually a lot closer to where we're working, and well, we know that now. So that, that'll be beneficial. down here and get rid of this first trailer and uh, uh, it all depends on how much we're going to get off from this one trailer load um, 
we might get enough to where we can maybe uh, finally put a house in. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to make that much off it, but it would be cool to actually be able to have a place to go to sleep. <laughs> we don't have a place for that. been uh, sleeping in the tractor all right and here we are here we go ready for this Two hundred thousand. Still going. That's not bad. Uh, we had what one seventy six, so we made fifty grand. That's not bad. Uh, so let's uh kind of continue on with uh cutting some more trees. that while we're down turn that on and away we go raise that up a little bit get rid of that stump Damn, this thing works good. I like it. Oh, it's awesome. And we're, uh, I'm going to test this, but we're going to keep going and see if I can fill up the, uh, um, the chipper itself. Because technically, at the end of the day, it is a chipper. Just a mounted chipper on front of the dryer. Because it's got uh, a capacity. Um, Seventy-eight percent, and that I think that will all um, just like it did last time. I believe it just it just unloads it when you uh, take it up there. I think it did earlier. I just didn't pay that close attention to it. All right, eighty-eight percent, almost almost there. All right, 100%. All right, so let's turn that off. And we'll go right back over here. And so even we have a full trailer, we still have 100% of, so we still have 725,000 liters in the uh, chipper itself. So this ought to be probably a pretty good one. It just keeps feeding the trailer. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this kind of cheaty or what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, it works. I'll, I'll, I'll go with it.
All right. So, just curious for the sh shits and giggles of it. Um, let's see how much one of these houses are going to be that we might want to put down in place of the old one. Um, I don't know. I think this is the... That would be a nice little... little little trailer you know I mean you don't have to have like a big giant house do we it would be interesting and then of course this is classic I mean could do that I guess for the farmyard or we can do something like this it would be kind of uh, stylish I guess Kind of log cabin ish, <laughs> so to speak. Alright, so. We're going to cut a little bit more um, and then dump that, and then I think that we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of the house over there and get a house down for us because uh, that's something that we sorely kind of need right now. tree there All right, so now we're down to the chipper capacity it don't take long for that trailer to fill up especially with wood chips couldn't get that stump right because we don't have yeah okay that's why I figured don't have room for it we're gonna have to make sure we come back and get it well we're clearing out uh, a little little area there pretty quick actually it's pretty cool hell yeah See, now to uh, demolish that uh, existing house on the farm is going to cost us, and I think, if I remember correctly, I want to guess at it, I want to say it's probably going to be about $6,000 to um, get that old one out, um, and then see if we can get one, uh, get one down there that's going to be good for us. So we're gonna ride back to the back to the farm and see if we can take care of that. And see what we can do. Um, I really want to do it because it's 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 the first step in the right direction. So uh, plus we need a place to lay our head too. Sleeping in the tractor or or, or one of them other machinery is just. Uh, 
Not really good on the back. I mean, we got all this. We got all this fencing. It's got to be replaced. It's, I mean, yeah, we still got a lot of work work here to get this uh, place back up and running. But right now, we need to, you know, make all the money we poss possibly can. And right now, it seems like the wood chips is probably our our best thing right this moment. Um, and that's gonna help us achieve that I think um, all right so this old place is all kind of boarded up and everything so let's uh see what we can do about getting rid of it all right so abandoned house it's going to cost us um, six thousand three hundred and sixty three dollars All right, so let's see here. Can we possibly, let's see what this looks like in this space here, just for the shoots and giggles of it. Uh, a lot of the landscaping, we can do that later on. I don't think that's gonna, would be a, too much of an issue. Let's bring this over this way a little bit. Okay, what am I overlapping? I'm not really sure. I don't think I'm overlapping anything really. It's fifteen grand. All right, so we got a house now. All right, so that's. In the right direction. How much is it going to cost us to get rid of all this trash? That uh, I'm curious about that. Um, probably too close to it now. Um, go to demolish. I think I'm too close to it. Um, I think that's what the problem is. Not really sure. Sometimes that thing can be finicky. Hmm, it's not letting me remove it. Interesting. Wonder why that is. It's uh it's a little crazy. Okay, that will get rid of that. There's got to be, I think there's, ain't there one where it will um, pretty much trigger all the extra? Been a while since I've done any of that kind of thing, so I'm not really sure. Okay, so this whole thing, but it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, yeah, it gets rid of all that, but not this other stuff. I'm not really quite sure what it is. Maybe the old beehives. Hmm. I don't know how 
to get rid of it. How much is it to get rid of these old things? Because they, I don't think they're going to work. Okay, we're going to lose 3000 on that. On that deal. So that's what I'm saying. It, it's not really quite ready to do the, all that yet. <laughs> and then these here just don't light up. So I'm not really sure. I know there's a trigger for it. And I just don't know where. It's, is it attached to that? No. Alright. So I think moving forward, um, it seems like the wood chips are working out for us right at this moment. Um, so I want to... I, think this is probably going to bring us end of our episode two so i hope you enjoyed it um and uh if you don't mind uh please leave a like uh subscribe and uh slap that bell icon so you know when i post my next video or go live so i do appreciate it y'all have a great blessed day